States are continuing to decide whether they are on the side of life or death when it comes to the topic of abortion. And Rhode Island has chosen the side of death as earlier this week. Governor Gina Raimondo signed a bill passed in the Senate and the House that is going to legalize abortion up until the moment of birth. If that sounds familiar to you, it should, because that's what New York has done. That's what Illinois has done. That's what states like Vermont have done. So more and more states are taking a death side when it comes to abortion. And this is really bad because this vote was close. You, know, you would have thought, you know, Rhode Island, Democrat, you know, Democrat state, this would have been, you know, probably a blowed away type of vote. It was not the case as it passed 21 to 17 in the Senate. And then in the House, it passed by a little bit of a larger number of 45 to 29. In fact, not all Democrats were on board with this. Many of them voted against the measure. One Democrat in particular said and encouraged his colleagues to not vote for this because he said, we're all going to be held accountable to God for the decisions that we're making here because of the positions that we're in, the positions of power that we hold. We are required to uphold what he believes to be a side of life, and he does not want to be held accountable for it. I thought this was amazing to hear a Democrat say this. You would expect this from Republicans, but from one Democrat to say this, he's absolutely right. In fact, every single person who takes the side of abortion, who takes the side of death, will have to answer to God. And I'll tell you this, leaders are held into a higher account than it would be for just, you know, regular citizens, maybe like you or me. They are put in these leadership positions. They are expected to do more, and God will hold them to a higher account. But it didn't work, nevertheless, and they still passed the vote. In fact, the governor, she was happy to sign this bill and did it all in the name of women's health because it's all about protecting the life of the mother. That's what the main part of the bill says. It's actually called the Reproductive Privacy Act is the name of this bill. Now, doctors would be required to put in their notes as to reasons as to why the late-term abortion would take place. That would all have to be documented. The full measure, I'm going to put it below in the description. If you guys want to read all of the specifics about the law that just passed in Rhode Island, I will put it down in the description for you guys to check out and read. But as I've been doing all year, I've been updating you guys on all the states that are either taking the side of life or taking the side of death. And although many have taken the side of life, just an equal amount of the number of them have taken the side of death as well and that is Rhode Island. But I want to hear from you guys. What do you think about the governor of Rhode Island signing this legislation for late-term abortion up until the moment of birth? Let me know. Sound off down below. If you enjoy these videos, please consider giving them a like and a share. Also, subscribing here if you are new. I greatly appreciate all of the support. Thank you so much for spending a couple of minutes of your day with me today. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I will talk with you soon.